my channel. My name is Ashley for those of you who are watching for the first time and for today's video as you guys can tell by the title I will be showing you some products that I use to refresh my wash and go throughout the week. So before we get to the video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to check out my last video which was a clothing lookbook that I did showing you guys some clothes that I got from Nasty Gal. That is a really really bomb website. You guys should definitely go check out the site and my last video before you guys watch this one. Also, I wanted to give a big, big thank you to Shea Moisture for sending me some products to be featured in this video. If you guys don't know, I am a 2019 Shea Ambassador, so they do send me a box of products every month. I did do a review last month. It was a wash and go routine, and you guys seem to really like that. So I decided to do another video, show you guys what products that I use to do my wash and go. This video is not sponsored. I am reviewing these products on my own free will. They do send me stuff, but they don't require me to review them. So I only really review the products that I actually like and that actually work for me. So don't worry, I am being honest and I do have your best interest at mind. I'm not gonna put you guys onto something that doesn't work. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So if you watch my previous videos, you would know that I do sleep in a satin bonnet. I just put this over my head. I don't do like the pineapple method or anything because that does make my hair crease a little bit. So I just have my hair out, put my satin bonnet on and sleep just like that. So I am actually on day two hair. I did wash my hair two days ago with day moisture, coconut custard, make it last, wash and go, shampoo and conditioner. And I have to say that it worked fairly well. It does say it's for kinky, curly to coily hair, but even though I don't have kinky or coily hair, it did work very well for me. It's very, very moisturizing. It really makes it easier to detangle my hair, and it also smells very, very good. I do like those, and they were actually nice enough to send me the entire collection, which just includes five products meant to help your wash and go. So you guys should definitely go ahead and check out this line. I am gonna be giving a full review of it, so keep watching. So the first thing I do is I just go ahead and start off with my Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. I've been using this for about two months now and I have to say I absolutely love it. I love the consistency because it is a spray but it's also a little creamy. It also really, really, really defines your curls. So I do like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it in my whole head. See if you guys can already tell, it's already starting to define my curls. Can you guys see? I used to use just a normal water and conditioner mixture, but after I found this, like you got such a life changer. You guys definitely check out this product. So after I do the little spray, I'm just gonna go ahead with the Coconut Custard Make It Last. This is the Curl Primer. As you guys can see, this is the first time I've actually used a curl primer. I've never heard about it before they sent me this. And I have to say, I really, really like it. If you guys are wondering what a curl primer is, it is used as a pre-poo for super easy detangling. So like I'll run this through my hair before I put in my other products. I really like this product because it makes my curls soft instead of like that crunchy feeling. I hate when my curls are crunchy, I absolutely hate that. So I always look for products that makes my hair feel soft. You guys know what I mean. Ooh, yes. And then to just give my curls a little more definition, I'm gonna go in and use the defining gel from the same exact line. I usually just use an Eco Styler gel to um, define my hair, but those two do make my hair feel a little more hard. And as I said before, I don't really like that. So after I started using this product, it gave me the same defining features, but it kept my hair feeling soft. So I do really like that. I also like when my hair smells like all of one thing, if you guys know what I mean. I don't like too many different smells in my hair. So when I find products from the same line, I try to get them all so like my hair can smell like one thing. So I'm just gonna go on with this. This is a gel, so I'm just gonna use it to scrunch my hair. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the top and the back to get rid of some of the frizz. Oh yes. 
I really like this. This is a gel, but it has a little bit of a watery texture. And I think that's what makes your curls feel soft instead of hard because the gel isn't like a solid thing. And then because this is day two and my hair is starting to get a little bit more dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of oil. I'm gonna use the Curl Revival Oil. I always like to add a little oil to my hair because I feel like it just adds shine and it gives it a stronger smell. So I do really, really like that. And this one works very well. And I do really love the way that this whole line smells, so. Ooh, yes, look at my curls, you guys. Like, do you guys see that? Look at that definition, yes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray a little bit at the bottom. The back of my hair does get dry the fastest, so I always add a lot of product to the back of my head. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Last but not least, because my volume is lacking, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pick and just pick out my hair to give it some volume. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and flip my hair and do the same thing. And this concludes my hair routine. this is day two hair so I will be reapplying these products throughout the week I will especially be using the oil to give it a little bit more shine and a little bit more moisture as well as the primer and the gel just to stop frizz and just keep my curls looking very defined I think Shea Moisture did a really good job with this line not only the smell but it also really helps your hair I've never used a product that was like actually meant for a wash and go I know there's products out there but this is my first time using products that are actually meant for a wash and go and I have to say that I really really like them I love the results as you guys can see my curls look bomb and then when they dry like they'll look even better I'm gonna insert a picture so you guys can see what my curls look like when they dry I know you guys are probably wondering like why doesn't she diffuse her hair I don't like to diffuse my hair because I feel like it takes away from the moisture I probably just haven't found a good method that works for me yet but for now I just like to let my hair air dry I just like the results better personally other than that if you guys have any more questions feel free to comment down below and this concludes my video thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel I will be doing a giveaway soon because I do have a lot Lot of unopened hair products so I will be doing a giveaway giving away some hair products probably when I reach 17k I'm really really close I think I'm at like 16.9 or something like that so definitely help me out guys and I'll be having a huge hair product giveaway and I know a lot of people would like that because hair products are on the expensive side so help me get to 17k and I'll have a hair product giveaway all right guys let me stop rapping thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye Bye.